It finally happened. After over a year printing on my Bamboo Lab printers with their AMSs, a piece of filament finally got stuck inside of the AMS. So today, I'm gonna show you how to get it unstuck and get this thing printing again. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. So this kinda was the perfect storm, and it was all my fault. This could have totally been avoided. So what happened was, this thing was printing away, doing its thing, and I shut off some smart switches. Well, I shut off the wrong one that was connected here to Trinity. That shut the whole printer down, and when I came the next day to check on it, I realized what I did. At that point, the filament was inside of the machine because it hadn't had a time to retract, and like an idiot, what I did was I hit the cutter, and then I started pulling the filament back through the AMS. When I did that, it got to a certain point, and then it broke. When I tried to put another filament in to get it going, I put it in and it won't go any further and I can see that it's not out of the back of the machine. So I know it's inside the AMS here and I know it's my fault. What I should have done is powered it back on. I told it to unload, let it unload and then let it reload and keep printing or whatever. Uh, that's what I should have did. I didn't do that, but now we're here and now we get to make this video. And that leads us to fixing this. The first thing I wanna do is unplug the printer. I'm gonna do this because later on we're gonna touch some wires and pull some wires out and I don't wanna be responsible for telling you to do that when the printer's on if you short something out. So unplug the machine and then unplug the AMS as well. Inside the back of the AMS, there's a little Bowden coupler release. What you wanna do now is put two fingers on there, push that thing down and pull the Bowden tube out of the back of the AMS just like that. Now to make this easier, I'm actually gonna take the AMS off the top of the printer because it's a little bit easier to get to when it's down at this level. You don't have to do this if you can reach your AMS. Then you wanna open up and take out any of the filament that is in there and don't let it spring around like that because that's bad. Grab your two millimeter Allen wrench or T-handle, whatever you have, and take the two screws inside that you see here and make sure that they're all the way out. They should be free spinning either all the way out of the plastic or free spinning in the plastic before we proceed to the next step. Next, we wanna lift the AMS out of the case by pulling on the rear and pulling it kind of up and out. But you wanna be very careful because in the back there are two small cables that you can see here that you wanna make sure you disconnect. But be careful, you don't wanna just pull this thing out and rip them out of the board. Make sure you disconnect those two cables before proceeding. So once those wires are disconnected, you wanna pull that AMS out from the back, kinda of to the front, rotating it out, and then set it flat down on your table, desk, or whatever you're using. At this point, you'll be able to see where the filament is, uh, which slot it's in. In my case, it's in slot one, but you'll be able to see which one through that white Bowden tube that your filament is stuck in. This is a great time to talk about today's sponsor, PCBWay. If you're looking for a custom PCB, maybe a machined part on the CNC, or a metal 3D printed part to finish your death racer maybe, check out PCBWay to finish your project. Their shipping is super fast and their customer service is there to help you for every step of the way. All you have to do is upload your model or design, tell it what you want, and boom, that's it. They'll make it and send it straight to you. Check out my link in the description below that takes you to PCBWay.com to get your parts ordered today. Thank you again PCBWay for sponsoring this video and now back to it. Now press the Bowden coupler in on the PTFE tube that you're trying to pull out. I like to do this on the front or the rear, whatever's closest to the filament that you're trying to get out. And then when you press that in, just pull the tube out. At this time, you should be able to pull that filament out and if you can't reach it, just take another piece of filament and push it into the tube, and that will push the filament out that's stuck. Now that the filament's cleared from that Bowden tube, just push it back into the coupler. Now carefully put the AMS back into the case, going the front first and then the back. And now the trickiest part of this whole thing is putting back those two little cables into the board of the AMS. Do that carefully right now and we'll move on to the next step. To wrap it up, all we have to do is put our AMS back onto the printer, push our Bowden tube back through the little hole into that coupler, make sure it's all the way in there, and then plug our AMS back in. And that's it. It's actually pretty simple to do and you can put filament back in your AMS and you're ready to print again. While this was caused by a stupid thing that I did, definitely self-caused in this case, I am so glad that I walked through this because I haven't done it before. It should take 10 minutes or less. Uh, the first time, 
probably about 10 minutes. After that, you could probably do this in five minutes. It's so fast to do after you've done it at least one time. The thing I love about these printers is they really do have some great documentation on their wiki page and some of their own videos showing how to fix some of these things. So check out the link in the description below if you wanna follow along with this video or if you just wanna go check out any of the other troubleshooting steps they have. Again, I'll put that link in the description below. You can pretty much find anything you want on there from changing the nozzle, the anything with the AMS, any of the troubleshooting you're looking for. So it's actually a very, very valuable guide. One thing that Bamboo Lab does really well, documentation. If this video helped you out, smash that like button. And if you haven't already yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you wanna check out more videos on 3D printing, CNC coming soon, and lasers. Also, if you haven't done the maintenance on your Bamboo Lab printer, check out this video right here for a step-by-step -step tutorial.